All right, guys, here's a walkthrough with Bob. He's going to show us your findings. We've got a little bit of light right there you can see. Just need to seal or just adjust it. You're the trip hazard. <laughs> okay, hot coals reverse in the laundry in the sink basin here in the garage. Okay. No bonding clamp on the uh, soft water. And then this is their drain for the soft water. They're just running it, letting it run out onto the driveway. Okay. Which I don't think the city would appreciate. Remind me when we get inside to reset the brake. Okay. So, yeah, drive door bounce back features good. I beam systems are good. Get a 40 gallon uh, water tank. Okay. See down in this valve, there's a whole bunch of rust, but on the back side it was damp here when I first got here, so we got to get that checked to make sure it's not leaking. Okay. We'll get a water shut off in the house, one inch copper, 70 pounds water pressure, that's off, that's on. Electrical box is right here. Everything inside the box is good. 200 amp copper, copper aluminum strand. Everything's fine. Gate self closes. TPR valve for the hot water tank. If they ever see water coming out of there, foam the plumber. You got a three ton unit here. And a three and a half ton unit here, I believe it was. And then we got a bird nest in the middle. Uh, vent flapper up there. Okay. Okay, no pressure foam needs to be replaced on this one. Okay. Those two pipes are your secondary drain pipes. When the air conditioning is going in the summertime, you never want to see water coming out of those. You want to see them coming out the two lower ones here. Alright. Even from here, you can see where the little roof is lifted up. So a little bit of the roofing is lifting up. You can see a little bit right, right here. Get rid of this. It's not secure. They just jam the pipe into the uh, cleanup. So want the sink basin is not secured to anything. The uh, Drain pipe down here is just stuffed into the uh, cleanup for the kitchen and it's just taped together here. Okay. okay. Everything down this side of the house is good. Everything down that way is good. So we'll come over here to the pool. I ran the irrigation. The irrigation all looks good except for that one valve up there. So you've got a crack in the plaster. And somebody's fixed it, but the crack has come back. So we want a pool guy to evaluate this. You got flaking and chipping all over, and it's stained. So I'm quite sure it's probably going to need to be replastered. Got a pool pop-up cover missing over here. And a pool pop-up cover missing over there. Okay. So this is the breaker for the pool light. I've turned it on and as soon as I hit the pool light switch, it pops the GFI breaker. So we've got an issue with the pool light. So we'll get that looked at. The aerator handle, it turns on, but the water just dribbles out the aerator. So we need somebody to look at that. And you can see the pump here, it's showing 10 pounds pressure, but nothing's running. So the gauge isn't working. Okay, so other than that, everything else is fine with the, the pool. Okay. Your patio slider, it's got a secondary pool handle here, but it's been disabled and it doesn't self-close. And there's no pool fence. Okay. Okay. 
Everything was good with the front door. I tried taking a picture and I don't think Gary's going to be able to show it to you. We've got an old, uh, we've got a water stain up in here. If you look just right in that area, you can see there's a ripple in the drywall. So we'll talk further about that when we get on the phone. Outlets are good in here, windows are good. Uh, this bathroom, the shower was good. Loosen the toilet. Yeah, this toilet's loose on the floor. Laundry room's good. Everything's good in the main floor bedroom. Family room, windows were good. Switches, outlets were all good. Windows, light, ceiling fan, closets are all good. Uh, this, both these sink basins got very low water pressure on hot, so you can see the water coming there, but you got good on cold. And that's the GFI breaker for all the bathroom outlets. The tub downspout needs to be sealed to the wall and there's no drain stopper. Everything in the, uh, this bedroom is good. Everything in this bedroom is good. All the outlets, everything, windows are good in the master. Both these sink bases are slow to drain. And the tub drips with the water off. And the shower cartridge spins all the way around. So it's got no stop gap in it. Closets are good. The uh, vent fan cover is plugged up with debris in the, the toilet room in the master and the main floor bathroom. Some of the kitchen and the countertops are good. Water and ice maker for the fridge is good. The stove does not have an anti-tip device on it. And the aerator is plugged up a little bit for the uh, spray portion of it. You can tell it wants to start spraying water all over, so you need to get that cleaned up. And then uh, we'll give you a call and we'll talk about the items on the roof. I've sent you a copy of the report, so hopefully you're looking at it. But we'll give you a call. All right. Thank you.